Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a special video tonight. And this is for how my 2020 is doing so far. Uh, so I'm going to discuss what I'm going to be talking about. And let you know my thoughts on how I've been feeling. So let's dive into this video. Now, how is my 2020 going so far? It's not good. It's not. Uh, entertainment wise, it's alright, but doing my reviews, it's alright. It's just, I've been under a lot of stress work wise, trying to work, and I'm actually planning on going to a concert in July. Finally going to a concert, which I'm really excited to go because I'm going to be seeing Disturbed. Bad Wolves and Stained uh, on July 24th, I believe. I'm not going to give out a location because I don't want... There's certain people out there who will just try to find me and be like, Oh, I know this guy. <laughs> He's the internet guy. Uh, Brian delivers you the goods. But, yeah... Um, it just hasn't been good because I've been dealing with a lot of depression, physically and mentally, and it's just sucked. Uh, this COPPA thing was supposed to be really bad, but it didn't happen, so that's a good thing. It didn't happen for my channel, because I kept saying, no, it's not made for kids, my videos. They're really not. Because I do cuss in them. And I know I need to stop cussing. But. It's so addicting to cuss. <laughs> uh, like every bad word you say. It's just really addicting. But good news is. Uh, I kind of. Well. The times that I don't make videos. It's because I'm working. I work usually mid afternoon. All the way to the evening. And only a couple hour shifts, but it's not too bad. I think the longest days I work longer is like Friday and Saturday. I have to get up really early Saturday and work. And I'm like, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think work-wise it keeps me busy. Like when I had a long weekend off that uh, President's Day weekend fucking hated that weekend i it i just was not in a good mood i was in a bad funk i got so depressed i was having racing thoughts about i wouldn't say that it's like schizophrenic thoughts because i'm not trying to imply that i have that i just I don't know, I might be saying the wrong thing, but it's just, I just didn't feel like myself at the time, and yeah, I don't want to go too much into detail about how I was feeling, but I'm doing okay now, I just, mentally, uh, I was kind of a douchebag today. <laughs> A little bit. Uh, but I did... The one thing I did for the start of my year... I worked with someone who was an asshole. And their employees were really rude. And had attitudes. And I just couldn't stand working there. I only worked there for like almost two weeks. And... I just literally told one of the employees to tell the manager to go F himself. And I was really proud of myself for doing that. But at the same time, I probably shouldn't have done that. Because he probably would have given me a bad reference to other places that I could work at. Uh, but, yeah. It's just depression-wise. I'm feeling it now, too. But 
not as badly as it was last week. Last week was, jeez. I think work takes me off my, that mindset where I feel like I will get really depressed. But pretty much that's how I've been feeling for 2020. I just don't like it. I liked last year a lot more. Because I was really happy. My mental health was in good check. And I do take medicine for depression and other things. But I don't want to go into detail about what I really have. But when I kind of mentioned schizo thing, I was like, uh they're gonna figure it out, <laughs> uh, but hopefully you don't judge me for that, and just hopefully you like this video, if you don't, that's okay, but if you guys have enjoyed your 2020, that's awesome, for me, it's just been crap, it could be better, but hopefully the rest of the year gets better, it's this year just started, so it's almost March now, so I hope March is a better month for me. But anyways, uh, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of this. How is my 2020 doing so far? How's my 2020 doing so far? Video, if you liked it. And let me know your thoughts on what you thought of this video. If you like this video, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I do plan on reaching out to people who do suffer through depression and have it a lot worse than me. And are really going through a rough time. If you uh, are feeling like you're thinking suicidal thoughts... Definitely reach out to the hotline, the suic the suicidal hotline or whatever. The suicide hotline, I believe it's called. I'm not sure, but you can talk to someone on there and they'll be able to help you and ask you how you're feeling and all that. But there were times I almost felt like calling that hotline because I was not in a good place last week. I was just mentally messed up in the head. And I was just feeling like, why am I feeling this way? I need to stop doing that and putting myself under stress. And yeah, right now it's just mostly life that's stressing me out. And I don't smoke anymore, so that's good. I had to quit two years ago because it was affecting my teeth. And I just can't smoke anymore. I don't even want to. It's just disgusting. That's why you see that my teeth have been chipped and broken a little bit. When you see my videos, you're like, oh, his teeth look nice and white but in the inside they're disgusting <laughs> uh but anyways uh just let me know how your 2020 is doing so far and let's keep this conversation going because i feel like i'm opening up to you guys about something important and about suicide depression i'm not actually attempting it but Talking about suicidal thoughts and all that. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to stop talking about it. I got to end this video because I got to go pay attention to a dog that we found yesterday. Uh, and are taking care of it for now. We can't keep the dog, unfortunately, because uh, we have to take care of our own animals, which kind of sucks. Because uh, our animals are not doing really well. But I don't want to get too personal into that. But pretty much we're going to have to put down a few of our animals, unfortunately. Because it's... They're pretty bad. 
But thank you for watching this review or video. I will return to you for the Five Finger Death Punch F8 album review and the Invisible Man album review or movie review. I'm sorry, I said album review. There's only one album review I'm doing this Friday, which I heard it. And I will talk about it when it gets close to the release date for F8 by Five Finger Death Punch. And I think next week I'm going to probably enjoy next week because I'm going to be purchasing my ticket for that concert in July. And it's Disturb, Bad Wolves, and Stain that I'm going to go see with a friend, which I'm really excited to see that. Because I'm mostly excited for Bad Wolves. Disturbed, they're alright. I liked Disturbed in the first six albums. But now, with Evolution, I'm like, nope. Evolution was garbage. In my opinion, it was garbage. You may not agree with me on that. It's just how I felt when I was hearing that album. But thank you for watching this pretty long video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in my next video.